Well, no, because that that takes a sp- that takes a spell slot too. So you're only yeah, supposed yeah, to do like a can, but you can do you can do a uh, sacred flame again if you want to, because it doesn't take right. a spell slot. Yep, I'll cast sacred flame on the one right in front of zero. Okay. Stand by for crazy dice rolls. Stand 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 by. Uh, let me find it. <laughs> there it is. All right, here we go. Well, at least you only got you only got two that time. Yeah, when so. as soon as I grab, pick pick up click on the icon, it double clicks, and that's for the other two. I always yeah. pick the dice up and drop it on them. Yeah. So. Well, do you want me to do your rolls for you? I can do your rolls for you so you don't get all the double clicks because when you do double clicks like that, like take for instance, you just had a successful saving throw and a failed saving throw. So on the first roll, the well, actually, you did it to yourself again, too. So let, let's take that first yeah. roll and I'll put it on the, the newt. So the newt failed the saving throw. So now uh, let me go ahead and take the damage on there, and I'll 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 roll the damage for you. So I, I will have a new mouse flame. next week no, or the okay, next time man. we play. Not a problem. So your sacred flame is going to do two d eight. So there we go. There's seven uh, radiant damage to the fire newt. So. All right, so do you want to do anything else? you want to take any other movements, anything like that, take an attack of opportunity, run up on the ramp in front of you? You can do anything. You still have plenty of movement. Uh, nope, I'm good. All right, Zero, you're up now, as you just got blasted in the face with this uh, fiery goo. Yeah, since he's right in front of me, I'm going to shock and grasp him. Nice. I knew that was going to happen. I, I should I should have made a bet with somebody. <laughs> All right, so the attack with advantage because of the spoony fire. That's a hit with a 25. Good job. Shocking grasp. Buzz. All right, it takes 13 lightning damage, and I believe that there's also going to be another effect that you're going to put on him where he can't take reactions and stuff like that and opportunity attacks and everything. So. Yeah, and then I'm going to go to this room. Ooh, yeah, nice job. Yeah, say, Omi, we need your spoon of inspiration. Get in there, <laughs> please. We got fire everywhere. Uh, My face. Uh, <laughs> this is all blistered and stuff. And speaking of spoons, it's uh, it's Omi Barton's turn. Oh, I, you mean this one? As I pull one out and I come up here move into the room here see all these four see the four clustered and I'm gonna position a shatter spell such that it hits those four um, to the left but miss it'll but positioning it where it'll miss 15 so it doesn't hit my ally okay one of the fire neat says in draconic oh not this guy <laughs> <laughs> A couple failures. Actually, three failures, one success. So go ahead and do your damage. Ah, very nice. A couple of them went down. Uh, one of the fire newts went down. Another one went down. And the other two are moderately and heavily wounded. And that's all the movement I had with the double movement in the other room. So I'll end my turn there. Okay. Get a couple fire newts going. The, the fire newt that is on you, Nothray, it's going to uh, basically, it's going to spit. So your saving throw uh, is a failure. Wow. So you're going to take some fiery damage from this hot liquid, liquid hot magma that it just spewed on you. And then it takes its scimitar and slashes at you. Wow. And actually, it does a crit hit. <laughs> wow. This thing's on fire. So you take another 11, so you're moderately wounded uh, from a total of 20 damage. Wow. And then this uh, this fire newt just kind of is holding its ground. All right, next fire newt. This, this fire newt here, hmm. What I think he is going to do, he's going to move. 
He's going to move back. He's also going to cast... Let's see. He's probably pissed at me from that blast I just gave him. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely pissed at you because he comes to about right here and he is going to do a 15 foot cone that's basically going to engulf uh, let me let me go ahead and do a, a cone alright so alright so basically the 15 foot cone is going to affect Shen, Omi and Nothray, it's not going to affect the fire newt here because he's he's standing here, and this is going to be uh, this is going to be burning hands. So I'm going to target you three, give you guys some saving throws. All right, so there we go, saving throw. You guys were all successful, so you'll still take half damage of of eighteen. Uh, ooh, wow, Omi. You failed your concentration check, so the Spoonie Fire is now out. So you guys did take three damage. Uh, you lost your, your spell. Uh, this this uh, guy's going to get another attack, which he is going to use a cantrip now, and he's going to cast Firebolt at Omi Barton. And the Firebolt hits... And Omi, you're going to take an additional seven, which you partially resisted. So, I, I hold up my hand with the ring on it, with my ring on it, as he fires that bolt off at me, and it seems like the ring disperses some of the fire. What's up, Rad? <laughs> Thanks, Rad. Thanks for the Twitch sub. Because I got the ring of fire resistance. Yeah, yeah, nice one. All right. So, wow, that's actually a pretty couple successful fire newt rounds. That's kind of nice. Darg, you're up now. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate it, Rad. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks. I for remember to unmute mine. myself. Cool, cool, cool. Totally appreciate it. No, I actually, 10, thanks for the sub. 15, Thank you. 20. Trying to see what boost he has on me, because he always boosts me up, and then i got to catch up with how much he's boosting me. Man, don't forget. Yeah, don't forget yeah. your sneak attack, too. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stab him with my main cuz I'm still dual wielding. So do man hand first on this guy. Yep, I got him ex I got him all to Sounds myself, good, just how I want him. That's what you need for your swashbuckler stuff, yeah. Nice hit with a 19. Nice damage, 15. He's dead. What did I move? He's out. Yeah. What did I move to get here? Probably about... Let's see, where were you at before? 20. I think... It, no, because it was difficult terrain to get through uh, to get Shen, cement. I think. Yeah, yeah so I'm at like 25, 25 right now. Yeah. <clears throat> what does it take to... You from that ramp. I mean, you can jump down or you can move over or, or whatever you want to do there. What does it take to stow a weapon? Yeah, Just part one? Of your movement. Yeah, part of your movement. Cool, then. Uh, <clears throat> oh, no, I can't do that. Yeah, that'll be it for me. Yeah. All right. I actually move back one. Vey, why don't you give me another uh, sleight of hand check now that you've kind of loosened the knot a little bit. Do not put that negative four modifier in there now. You can just do a regular sleight of hand. I'll do it. Because you've kind of shimmied the, the the knot loose a little bit. Oh, you definitely get this thing. You 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 basically just pull your hands right out of it. So now you're you can stand up if you want to and have half movement. Uh, you can free action. Uh, you can do whatever. H how you were captured and brought in here, that's totally up to you. So you can take your action if you'd like to, and you still have half movement left. So. I remain seated for the moment. Okay, sounds good. Not doing anything else. All 
All right, let's go to round number two. And we're back to uh, Nothray. Thank uh, you guys geez. again for hanging out. Totally appreciate it. It's good to be uh, back. It really is. Take revenge on this fire, Newt. And I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the more viewable space as well. You can still see what players are talking and whatnot. So, uh, very good. All right. Slash yeah. with your longsword. She's yelling in drow as she swings. Mm. She's yelling, I love Drizzt Duerden. That's what she's yelling. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> and she's going to swing again. Drizzt Duerden can put his shoes under my bed at any time. <laughs> Get it carved on the I heart Drizzt on the back of your shield or something. Nice hit with a 22. <laughs> As I jest. Very nice. That fire newt is dead. You still got another attack. You got movement. For a Bruner battle hammer, she yells. Oh. He's read the Dark Elf trilogy. He's read some other Forgotten Realms trilogies. Nice. Gonna move up, attack the uh the warlock or Yeah, I'm I'll, I'll move into place. Obviously I can't attack, but I'll move there. Sure you can. You got another attack. Oh no, that was your second attack, my bad. But you can still move, fam. Yeah. Yep. It took both attacks to kill that that uh, fire newt. And if we were playing around the table, I actually have like 12 fire newts. I mean, we could have actually had 12 fire newts on the table. I would have done that too. Man, if I was only rich, I would fly people out to play D&D. &D. <sighs> All right, so nice job. Got to have gold. Yeah. Shen, you're up. Alright, I'm gonna move up to in front of the warlock newt. I'm gonna target him. <clears throat> I may do something works. like that with my last Christmas giveaway extravaganza later this year. I got tickets to see Metallica for next year, and if my son doesn't want to come to Texas, then I'm gonna have an extra ticket. I'm gonna give it to somebody and and uh, fly him out here, and we'll go hang out and watch Metallica next February. That'd be pretty cool. That, 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 would, that, awesome. that would have to be like the, the, the giveaway extravaganza grand finale epic prize. You know what I mean? That would be the, the be all end all. Hey, I want to try attacking. So however many dice comes up, the first one is the one. All right. <laughs> yeah, I can do that roll for you though. So you don't get all the, the oh, look at that. There oh, you go. Look. <laughs> You're so ginger with your touch, Shen. You've got such a soft touch. <laughs> Sorry. Did you beat the crap out of your mouse during your last turn? Yeah, I banged was, it. Did you, did you really? <laughs> I tried to put it out in the driveway and run it over. Nice. It was a hit, and uh, uh, you did seven damage, so very nice. Devil Dog, wow. It has been a long time. I've seen Metallica about a dozen times since the 80s. And, and I love Metallica. I don't listen to him that much anymore, but I still love him. Oh, Zero's going in. Look at this. Yeah, I've seen Metallica so many times. Me and my son went and saw oh, him three I, times. Go up here? In three days. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a ramp. You can just run right up. You're up about five feet up. You're kind of looking down on everybody. You can reach down and shocking grasp the IMEX if you want, the Warlock. The move went great, Devil Dog. I've been here uh, two months certainly. now. I absolutely love it, man. Almost two months I've been here. Best move I, I ever made in my life. 25's a hit. Nice shock and grasp. You know, he's going to take the rest of his movement and haul ass, too. Nice. Does a eight lightning damage. This thing's critically wounded. And I see him turning around. <laughs> wow, he's gone. Nice. No attack of opportunity because of oh, the shocking yep. grasp, yeah. So let's go to Omi. Ooh. How did it feel to lose that concentration as you were smacked with that firebolt? Uh, it was a 
weak hit, but it kind of distracted me enough to for, forget about my spell. Still thinking about that Justin Bieber concert your wife took you to the other night? Was that it? Oh, yeah, that's oh, that was it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now Omi's uh, going to just draw his blades and go after this last one. That's a hit. Ooh, minimum damage. But nonetheless, it's just enough to vanquish the warlock. You guys are out of combat. <clears throat> you guys are out in the corner fire. that I am untying myself. I'm do I still have my eyebrows? Yeah. And who do we have over in the corner here? Dave, is there a reason I'm here, or should I just make something up? Make something up. No, I had something okay. for you, but you, we were, uh, you were a little late, so we can't kind of go back <laughs> and do it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, where I hope I? everything's okay. Uh, you are in a uh, an old dwarvish uh, mining facility called Harakamar, where they uh, basically this is a huge. Pl uh, it's where the dwarven kingdom would smelt a lot of adamantine and a lot of iron. So uh, you know that the fire newts took over this place from the dwarves, killed a lot of the dwarves, and that's about it. Okay. Pain guy. Good to see you, pain guy. Wow, well, I'm, I'm dying myself. Seen in a while. Good good to see you guys. Uh, it's nice to meet you all. I'm Phil. Or Bay, sorry. Hmm. And I'll also switch that token out for you, too. Well, wait, which, which name was that? My name is Vey. Oh, you you must have got hit on the head. I just heard you got confused with your name a little bit there. <laughs> I'm I'm Darganath. Are you okay? You need any help? No, I'm, I'm okay. I, I've been trying to get loose here for some time. It's a good timing. I had a run in with some some bandits. Ooh. I'm not even really sure where I am. You're on the and I thought I was good as dead, but. I convinced them that I knew there was a secret I gotta have to a vault my girl, in this, in this She's area here. So. I She's told them the password they wouldn't take start. it or accept it, so they brought me along, tied me up for insurance. I haven't, I haven't heard from them in a, a day or so. And as you're Nothra, you can see that there's a couple of bags of belongings uh, that says Wood Elf basically wrote on the bag, so that's all of Vey's items, her personal belongings. <clears throat> and I grab them and bring them over to her? Yeah, this this room is where, uh, especially with all of this machinery and stuff, this is where a lot of the ingots were actually cast in their molds. And, you know, this is where all of the the iron would be, or the, the adamantite would be pounded in the other room, brought over here, and then basically put into the molds. You know, there's a couple of huge stamping machines, these massive stamping machines that have these hammers that just kind of pound it into the mold. Hey, thanks. Then there's a, also a door over here with a lever on the eastern, a lever on the eastern wall. A couple of, uh, pools where they're, you know, all of the ingots are pressed and then doused to cool down. Well, it's good to meet you. Are you doing all right? How long have you been here? Just about a day. Just maybe a little longer. It's hard to tell. Well, you look better than those dwarves we saw earlier. Oh. So... Right, Thanks for giving me my stuff. I'll start to equip myself. So, what are you what are you doing here? What is this place even? I don't know. It's some kind of underground cavern. It looks like some kind of mining facility. What? How did you end up here? Um. Well, like I said, I had I ran into some bandits. And that went sideways, so I tried to convince them that I knew a password to a secret vault in here. 
They oh. cut me up for insurance and took off their own way. Yeah, and as, as you say password to the secret vault, uh, your friends, the two dwarves, Laz and Malkar, they come in and say, Oh, you have the password to the door, Elf? Is is that why you're here, my lady? Oh. No, I didn't actually know there was a password. I just... So, <laughs> yes, uh, I wouldn't get killed. Oh well, well, you've you've guessed right because there is a a vault, my lady, that is just full of treasure and adamantine ingots. This is the room where my kin have smelted thousands of adamantine ingot bars. They actually have quite a, a nice trade value on the open market. This is where a lot of the world's adamantine comes from comes from except for of course you know far to the north in the spine of the world but ah yes are you sure and he kind of gives you this kind of slanted eye look he says are you sure my lady that you do not know the password (laughs) I look around at everyone else Uh, honestly I was just making it up ah to save your skin huh that's right uh, well, as you said you were caught by bandits. Uh, what, what, what were you sold to the fire newts, or were the the bandits actually the fire newts? No, fire newts didn't tie me up. Hmm. It was uh, it was they were humanoid. There were some elves, a couple of dwarves, human. Ooh, so there's more than one party of adventurers on the island of Cholt, trying to figure out this blasted death curse. Hmm. Possibly. Like I said, they left me here. I haven't haven't seen them in a couple of days. Or at least a day. Again, it's hard to tell time. It is, especially when your life revolves around down here. Yes, uh, the hours do kind of meld together. No pun intended down here in the forge. While while they're talking, I'm just gonna start oddly staring at the wall, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, crap. I gotta I gotta do that target self. Hold on, I did that wrong. <laughs> so as you're staring at the wall, Darganoth, why don't we go ahead and take a quick uh, ten minute break? We're gonna we're gonna continue. While we were else. taking a few seconds, I used my mm-hmm. staff of healing on Nathre and Zero. Used three charges on Nathre and one charge on Zero. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, that's a nice staff, man. Definitely, you know that eliminates a lot of, you know, having to use a lot of hit dice heals. That, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I feel bad for the people just coming in because we've we've actually gotten pretty well stacked with magic items. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I've given a couple. I think I've given a couple magic items to to the to the newcomers as well. I think a like armor or a weapon or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. There will be plenty more magic items. Believe me, you guys got a bunch. Oh, I do. There will be yeah, more. That's for sure. One, one oh, yeah. All Dave gave me was like a magic stone. He hasn't told me what it does yet. It's plus ten to everything, Bay. I mean, of course. I have to it's eat the it. Rock. I have to eat it and I get plus ten to all stats. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, all I got is this rusty spoon. <laughs> so let's say you adventurers, you guys uh, have a have a wood elf in your company now. Well, Miss Bay. Would you like to join us and get some revenge on these uh, things in here that looked like they were probably about to eat you or worse? Oh, sure, but I think I think I might want to thank them. They may have gotten revenge on my my kidnappers. Although, why are you guys here? We're trying to liberate this dwarven forge. From the fire needs, they killed all the dwarves that were here. Aye, and it looks like it has. No, so the dwarves hired you to come in here to clean out the newts? No, we're investigating a bigger, bigger 
scenario just just happened to be along the path. Oh, the intrigue. What is this big mystery? You've actually you've heard of this as they tell you. You've actually heard this kind of happening on the on the island of Chalt, and in, actually, in all actuality, it's the entire world, the entire you know all of Faerun and the Sword Coast and everything is affected by this. But I'll let well, we're you. we're here investigating this death curse, which I'm sure you've heard about by now, and we're searching for something called a soul monger. We have absolutely no idea what it is, but. It's somehow connected to this death curse. Oh, interesting. So you're taking on this thing, huh? Yeah, this happened to be along the way, so I figured we'd check it out. Never know where we might find a clue. Oh, so you don't know where to go just yet? No, this uh, thing could be anywhere on this entire island. All we know for sure is it's somewhere in Chult. Something called a soulmonger. And you don't know what it is. Exactly. Now you got it. So Here, have a t shirt. You know when you find it. Uh, mm. She is grilling oh. you guys. Gotta love it. Omi scratches his head. That's a good question. I just assumed they'd have like a label on it. Here <laughs> lies the soul monger. Please destroy me. <laughs> well, what does the soul monger do? Like I said, it's, we only know that it's somehow related to this death curse. Yeah, as Wakanga and Syndra told you back in Port Anzaru, that, yeah, this soulmonger is the artifact that needs to be destroyed, which is, you know, it is the reason why this death curse is around. That, you know, that information Syndra was able to obtain. But as to where this, uh, this soulmonger is, somewhere on the island of Cholt. That's all that you know. If but we once can destroy, it's destroyed, yes, the 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 soulmongers destroyed. It will destroy the curse, which the. Are you gonna tell me? Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> She's grilling me now. If we can somehow destroy the soulmonger, whatever it is, it will supposedly end this death curse. <laughs> well. I don't know if you guys really know what you're looking for or not, but I mean, I guess I'm on board. At least till the next town. And in the meantime, there's plenty, we figure there's plenty of adventure to be found in this jungle. New things to see, new songs to write, new spoons to find. Okay, okay, okay. You don't have to oversell it. I said I'm coming. <laughs> All right, we're glad to have you, Miss Bay. Uh, so who has some food? It just so happens we have a plethora of food. Good. I'm tired of eating good berries. A gaggle of food. A gaggle of food. <laughs> Didn't we bring some stuff from Nanny? Yeah. Yeah, you brought some leftovers, yeah. But you guys have yeah, I threw that a away. bag of holding full of like rations and stuff too that you guys brought along. Because you guys are on day eight now of your of your journey since you left Port Nine Zaru. You guys have been traveling eight days. And you know that there was a total of hundred and fifty days that Syndra had left to to live. So she you know, she's from 150 days down to about 142 days. So you guys have, it is a time sensitive adventure, but it's not like to where you got 10 days and then the world's just going to implode. I mean, you still got a while. Well, I, I vote we save the world <clears throat> on day 149. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the only way to save the, the world. Save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do it before then, then it's not a big deal. And you lose out on the all, all, on all of those extra uh, adventures for XP and loots and all that other stuff too. What are you pay by the hour? Did you say loot? Loots. I said loots. The loots. Yeah, What's so interesting about that wall over there, Darganath? You seem to be staring at it pretty intently. <laughs> yeah. What's up with your friend? <clears throat> Sometimes he's got a thing for walls. 
<laughs> the snozberries taste like snozberries. So you can I mean what is that what is that ring of X ray vision? It gives you what? Three okay, I, or something like that of, of I, I had it up a second ago, I'll read it to you just because it's all important, so um it lasts for a minute, which I already got that in the timer there. Um thirty foot radius. These are the key things. I see as if the wall isn't there, like light it's completely transparent. Uh it penetrates one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, or up to three feet of water dirt. So this is what you're going to see. You, up to 30 feet? Did, did yeah, 30 this, feet. Did you read this module? I mean, did you look at this map? Because it's exactly 30 feet, dark enough. I'm going to call a cheater on you. No, I, I didn't look at it at all. I just, <laughs> just I just, I just looked at the rooms we were in, and I was like, I bet you this could come in handy right now. Yeah, so through, that, through this door, nice snort, by the way, <laughs> that door over there on the right-hand side. It, it basically, with your ring, as you activate it, you can see four 15 by 10 rooms, and it basically looks like a bunch of crates, boxes, bags, uh, jars, stuff like that. Just it looks like a bunch of supplies. I'll, I'll look at these guys, and I'll be like, there's just nothing but supplies this way. Can I get through here so I can look down this way? Yeah, it looks like uh, at the end of this 30-foot hallway, it looks like it does go to another chamber also, but that's where the x-ray vision kind of ceases to to work anymore you know what i mean it's kind of hazy but i think there's a door at the end of the hallway there's a hallway and a couple storage rooms you guys can check that out without me x-ray vision 30 feet bam 30 feet hall and it looks like it continues on to the east also it is a 30 foot radius if that makes any difference no that's it just the whole everything else is solid stone oh, okay Lined with common metal yeah, that, that he's gonna be throwing a lot of like lead in here. I see. Yeah. In the future, <laughs> kryptonite and stuff. So Laz and Laz and Malkar, they actually tell you that where you're at, Darganoth. They say that is the way to the vault, my friends. That is the way to the vault, and the treasure of Hrakamar. Okay, guys, I see nothing but a hallway up here, and they say it's the way through the vault, as you heard. Do you want to check out the storage, or do you want to check out this hallway? We appreciate you liberating Harakamar for us, and unfortunately all of our, our kin and our fellow engineers are, are all dead and slain. Do you plan on doing anything against that massive clan of kobolds that attack once in a while? Because obviously... Myself and Laz, we cannot defend this place uh, against a, 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 a massive clan of kobolds, and they have a dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll kill Zindalar. Let, let's just get this taken care of first. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, my friends. <clears throat> I did. I, I do speak a little bit of Draconic, and I did several times hear the the kobold chieftain saying to grab as much treasure as you can to bring it back for tribute. Uh, to add it to the other masses of treasure that the dragon has, so that could be worth your while. But then again, it is a dragon. Dragons are pretty tough. So I'm going to... We, we've had a rest since the last time I gave him water out of my jug, right? Yeah, you just had your the, long, the short rest from when, you, when we first started the game. Okay, never mind. It's, uh, That's the direction the bandits went. So they must have really known about the vault in here. Oh, they went down some railways to the south. Aye, that's that's where the Kobold clan lays. About yeah, they're led by some tiny dragon named Zendalore. I think we can take them. Aye, it's about a 30 to 40 mile ride from here, but then again, it is all downhill, and you can climb into the mine carts, and it'll take you the entire way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Darkeneth, by the way I hear you say the word full, I have a feeling you want to go that way. I mean, there could be some good stuff in that storage room, too. But yeah, vault sounds good. Well, I'll tell you what, my friends. Seeing that you did help, and I have a little knowledge in smithing, as, as my fellow colleague here, Laz... 
if you can get us into the vault and get us to the adamantine, we will coat all of your weapons with adamantine. And, you know, speaking out of character... Uh, I'm with them. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> my, my lady, your weapons will be covered as well. So speaking out of character, adamantine will will basically it it of course it adds value to your weapon, but what it does is whenever you go to like attack objects and stuff like that, and when you hit, instead of just rolling damage, it's crit damage. So that's what the benefit of having an adamantine weapon, and that's in I believe it's in Xanathar's Guide to Everything. So. Uh, anytime that you guys go up to a door and attack it with your adamantine weapon and you hit it, which is only going to be a DC 10, you guys, I, I usually don't roll to hit anyway on stationary objects. So it would be a crit. So it would take less hits to break through something, actually. So adamantine, pretty nice. So an upgraded hammer. Pretty much, yeah. I like it. All right. Go do your sneaky, sneaky thing there, Darkman. All right. Can I open this door? Well, if I face it. Sure. You open it up. Poof. Nice long haul. And then it looks like it goes to a, a gantry after after a good ways. I'm going to carefully go down this hallway cuz I trust nothing. Yeah, if there's, you know, if there's anything, I'm not I'm not going to make you do a check for traps, roll every 5 feet or you know, anything. If if you need to do a stealth check, I'll tell you you need to do one. If there's any kind of like trap or anything that you can notice, I'll do its stealth versus your passive perception, which is pretty good anyway. So I'll let you know if you see anything. So what you do see though, Darg, is you can see that there is a a door, sort of like a uh, like an inlaid room cut into the the stone, and you can see what appears to be maybe a couple of shoulders on each end of the door. Maybe there may be something standing guard. Maybe it's those bandits. Also, you see that there is a uh, a chamber to the left also because the wall kind of ends abruptly and you can see the chamber kind of going in. Peeking. Okay. So as you as you get a little bit closer, you notice that these these two shoulders are are actually a couple of suits of armor. And these, you know, they're, they're, of course, they're dwarven size, and they're in half-plate armor, and they're sitting on each side of this beautiful adamantine-banded door. Of course, it's iron, but it's got the adamantine hinges and all that stuff. And these, these suits of armor were definitely beautiful once, but now it looks like they've been scarred and scored with all kinds of, like, weapon attacks, scorched by fire all kinds of filth and rusts all over them. Uh, and as you look at the door, of course you notice the locks and stuff, of course, because you're a rogue. You notice that the door has two locks, and there's one lock above the other one. So the side chamber, as you kind of peer in, it, it appears to be uh, empty. Uh, but of course you can't see all the way in and everything because of the, from where you're standing but it does appear to be like maybe a 15 foot wide chamber I think this is the time that I go back and report my findings Okay. I don't like that armor afraid it's going to uh, animate or something like that and then of course you can see a lot of you know, a lot of other magma. You can see the other gantries and stuff. I'm going to kind of open everything up for you here, too. But, you know, the gantry does go over the... does. It's like a like a drawbridge. You can, you can tell that this thing does retract back, too. So this could retract back from the vault. So, <laughs> so I, it's just sound. the bridge to the vault. There's some weird looking armor over there, guys. I don't trust it. I don't trust anything. Yeah, I think I remember reading somewhere 50% of all statues in Feyrune animate. <laughs> or you twist them and there's sacred things under them. <laughs> <laughs> 
statue doesn't exist in this world for no reason at all. How high are those uh, uh, railings on the bridge? Uh, on the gantry, probably maybe four feet. Just enough to where it would, you know, the, whoa, what was that? The dwarf could look, you know, in the, the, the over the gantry. So probably about four feet or so. Wow, it sounds like oh. something just like exploded in my neighborhood. Holy crap. Not coming across the board. That's it. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if that armor scares you, we could just toss it in the magma. I mean, when I'm up scouting alone, everything scares me, let's be honest. Can't I just be considered brave enough to go up there scouting alone all the time? Well, that's what you just did, didn't you, Mr. Fancy Pants? <laughs> well, I think he was in character there. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Ah, uh, if we could only get into the vault. Well, do we want to go check out that dorm? Have, have like, a uh... They bring some back up down for Darganeth. Have him check out that door. I mean, I'll look at stuff if you guys will come with me. Yeah, I'm. I'm already maybe, standing by the gantry. Maybe someone should stay back and watch that other door to make sure we don't get uh, back ended. I'm a little worried that we start messing with things up here, and this uh, drawbridge is going to retract. I'll make sure that you know. Uh, I'll make sure that. I'll cover the rear so you don't get backdoored, says Malkar. And Laz will... There's also a... As you guys get out to the gantry, about right here on the wall, there's an iron lever. And this iron lever... Laz actually tells you that this iron lever is what retracts the, the gantry back to separate, you know, the forge from the actual treasure room or the vaults as they call it I've got mage hands so we can be alright on that factor <clears throat> okay guys I'll come check this out mm -hmm. I feel like a tray you from the never ending story right now never I'm with you so yeah to your to your left arg there what, a, what appears <laughs> I've never seen that. That is like crazy. <laughs> no, I'm laughing because Omi just like jumped on Shen's head <laughs> on my screen. <laughs> I gave him a piggyback hey, right across. <laughs> so you're secretly in love with a dog dragon. Oh boy. I don't have a miniature for that, so let's not have that encounter. <laughs> so this to your left, Argonoth, there's the what yeah. appears to be a appears to be an empty empty chamber and then there are the two dwarves the adamantine door adamantine slash iron door a couple of locks I will in check these things out <clears throat> okay so the the door's upper lock as you're checking it out uh, it's embedded with an adamantine frame uh, basically it looks like some type of dwarvish rune now do you read dwarvish I don't even think I'd recognize it as Dwarvish, so I'll turn around and be like, I have no idea what this says. Is anybody else? Yeah, you can tell that it's Dwarvish, but uh, who who does speak Dwarvish here? I do. So does uh, uh, Nothray. Nothray. Yep. Okay, so you two know that this, this rune is Dwarven for beginnings, and you guys can interpret that. Now, the lower lock, as you're looking at it, uh, looks like it at one because you can see little little bits of gold and you can actually kind of look at the, the floor and see there's like very fine gold shavings and it was in some kind of rune as well but where the gold was you can actually see to where the gold was so it makes sort of like the like an image of another rune or or you know from where the gold was like taken off of of the wall and the door and this is uh, this says endings so but it looks like you know, of course with the armor being scorched up torn apart they they wanted this gold so top top lock that rune says beginnings the second the lower lock uh, below it where, where all the gold was scraped off it says endings 
Of course, it was probably the fire newts. So, and then there's all kinds of scarring on the door and stuff to where it looks like they tried to beat their way through the door and stuff. But to no avail, it just did not, just did not happen. So as you're looking Damn. over the, over the lock as well, uh, you can give me an investigation check. And that's for you, Darganoth. You can put that in the tower. May God help us all. Yeah, so uh, as you're looking at it, you say, you're like, wow, uh, this this may be easier uh, than than is what's expected. Because you, as, you're looking, as you're looking at it, you know, you see the runes destroyed. You're like, maybe, maybe this has already been, you know, tripped. But, I mean, now the... It, this is a this is a pretty complex lock system too because you don't you don't run into a lot of uh, mechanisms that have two locks, Darganoth. So, but you're like, eh, this 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 could be ready to go right now. I mean, I mean, you you would have to. It's still locked. I mean, you're gonna have to pick the lock. That's for sure. Uh, you can tell that much as you you're looking with your mirrors and your you know your candlelight and stuff like that. But it definitely, it definitely looks to be uh, locked. That's for sure. I will certainly attempt to pick this lock then, because I'm, as, I'm so sure of my lock picking skills. As, as uh, you go to draw your lock picks, I say, "What you doing there, Darganath?" I'm, I'm opening this door. That's my job, right? All right. Oh, okay. All let right. me, let me give you the spoon's blessings first. I want to cast uh, enhance ability for dexterity on Darganath. Okay. Very good. So you've got your uh, your buff on there. So why don't you go I, and give me a? I'm weapon. not even sure how my thieves tools check is this high, but somehow. Probably. And I already gave you inspiration. Double proficiency. You scumbag. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, plus, I mean, out of character, plus ten. I'm like, what is going yeah. on here, well, Jesus? You got double proficiency because you know you got a yeah, you got the, the proficiency, your bonus, and double proficiency. You scumbag, you made it. It was a high DC too, man, and, <laughs> and you totally make it. So, what happens is this: as you are messing around with the top lock, you all the tumblers, you line them up, bam that unlocks. Now, as you're uh, fiddling around with the lower lock, you can tell that it's trapped. But with your unbelievable prowess and your cat-like reflexes with your thieves' tools, you are able to successfully spot the lock, go around it, you've bypassed it, and you get the lower lock unlocked. And as, you're, as you get this thing unlocked, Man, that was such a good roll, too. I mean, it is exactly what you needed. And you're thinking, okay, if if I would have failed, you would have been screwed because the bridge would have retracted back. It would have... The gantry would have retracted all the way back to the west. So that that's what you're able to discern as you're kind of... Now that you've... You know, the beads of sweat are rolling down your forehead and... Uh, that's what you're able to discern. You would have been in a lot of trouble if you would have failed that because there would have been pretty much almost no other way to get out of here except for, you know, if you have any kind of, like, boots of flying, magic carpet. But I don't think there's any of those in this game. So, good job, though. Nice uh, nice roll, uh, Darg. Good job. Uh, Nothre and Shen of the Finn, why don't you two give me perception checks as you are inside of this small little earthen chamber, hiding from the trap that you thought was fixing to explode from Darganoth tinkering with it. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> wow, v nice rolls on both of you guys. But um, and, and in fact, uh, Nothre, you had the better roll. So you found a curious little box that was kind of hiding in a, in a small little nook or cranny in this small room. And the box is made of iron, and it kind of looks like a book at first to you, Nothre. Uh, but after you pick it up, you know, you, get, you can see it with your dark vision and whatnot. The box is actually made of iron. 
And this box opens from both sides, rather from, you know, like the front or back of like a book. So you can turn it over, uh, you know, and one side of this box, same thing again. You can read Dwarvish, the same symbols on the doors. So on one side has the Dwarven rune for beginnings. And as you flip the box over, the other rune that was, that the gold was scraped off of the door and the wall, it says endings and you open it up and inside it looks like keys are missing out of so there's sort of like a an in, inlaid you know part uh, what what type of proficiencies do you have with any kind of tools in Othray? do you have any kind of proficiencies with tools like uh,